guys it's miss dickerson and today we are going to talk about classroom management um just for background knowledge i am a kindergarten teacher and this is my seventh year teaching so throughout these seven years i have tried so many different strategies as far as classroom management some worked and some did not work so today i'm going to show you guys the strategies that I use and the strategies that work best in my classroom. My classroom is not perfect. I'm not perfect. The kids are not perfect, but these are what helps us get through with the day. So yes, I have 22 kids and this is like the most I had in the last three years. So my first three years, I had 17, no, the first three years I had 24 kids and then the last three years I had 17 or 18 So right now I have 22 kids in my class and I have no para no teacher assistant um, I never had one out of my seven years teaching so I've been by myself the whole time So classroom management is very very key When it comes to a large classroom when you're by yourself So I'm going to show you guys the strategies I use I'll take you around my classroom so you can see um, I'm not just gonna sit here and talk about them. I'm actually gonna show you so you guys stay tuned Okay, so this is the first strategy for classroom management is the clip system and this system goes way back so instead of just the regular um, red yellow green I like to use this one and it has outstanding great choice good choices ready to learn warning consequences and parent contact so i have one two three four five six seven so when they all come into the classroom in the morning they're all on green um so everybody starts on green and depending on how their day goes if they make a good choice or they're well behaved then i can move their clip up to um, blue and then up to purple and then all the way up to pink. So the goal is to have one of these days, a good day, great day, or outstanding day. We all aim for pink. And being on green is okay. Okay, so yellow is a warning, um, orange is consequence, and red is parent contact. These are the colors you do not wanna be on. So we aim to be up here, you know? Um, I rarely put a kid on red unless they do something horrible like hit somebody, bad words, you know, something crazy. But the thing is, if they come down to yellow or orange, they're still able to work their way back up to the top. So the chart kind of fluctuates between, you know, up and down. If they make a bad choice, they can still make a good choice. So this is what I use. So they all have their names on them. and. They're able to move the clips themselves by finding their names. So I'm going to move on to the next part. So with the clip system, um, it aligns with their homework folder and their behavior chart in their homework folder. So this is what their folder looks like. The girls have pink and the boys have green. And I'm going to do another video on exactly what is inside of the homework folder. But this right here is their behavior chart. And as you've noticed, this one says September uh, 2019 because my kids are ELL students. So most of my kids um, speak Spanish, they're bilingual, and I have some that only speak Spanish. So at the beginning of the year, I asked the parents, I kind of take like a survey with a worksheet that they fill out, not a worksheet, but a, um, well, like a survey they fill out. And I asked them if they want their homework in Spanish and if they want their behavior chart in Spanish. So this parent opted for Spanish because most of the parents speak Spanish here at my school. So I just found this on TPT and I will link it below. I did pay for this one, but I love it so much. So it comes with like each month and it has everything in Spanish already. And down here, the colors align with that behavior chart that I just showed you guys, which is perfect. So whatever they end with that day is the color that I will mark on their folder for the day. So Andrea, she got pink every single day and 
I marked it on here and I would like for the parents to sign it but it's not mandatory but I like this also because I can edit it and put special days in so Hispanic Heritage Month started on Sunday the 15th um, we have a birthday which I forgot to put the name I know so bad um, I usually put the name I forgot this time uh, we have a birthday on the 19th we had Labor Day on the 2nd so if we have like important holidays birthdays um, any special events I can put it on here and then once they see what color they got if they did get a yellow orange or red I will put a number on that day depending on what they did I know you guys most of you guys probably can't understand it unless you know Spanish but it says what they did on here and I also have an English one too because some of my parents um, do speak English and they want it in English so I have it for them as well so those are the first two things so those two are the biggest things that I use um, in my class for behavior and here's a little preview of the homework that I give them I give them a week-long packet which I will get into next video um, and it just shows like how I do their homework and you know what is inside of their homework folder and all that so that will be in the next video so I'm gonna move on to the board back here and this right here is class dojo so I'm gonna show you guys what class dojo is if you're not familiar with it and how I use it in the classroom and how like amazing it is so let's move on to class dojo okay so the next thing I'm going to show you is class dojo which is this right here and I love class dojo we use it a lot at our school and in the classroom so I'm going to show you guys my classroom and basically what you can do on it so anybody can sign up for it and this is a great way for classroom management um, to use it in the classroom so this is my classroom right here. So you just add the kids to your class. Um, and I'm gonna give you guys an example on how I use it for classroom management. So I'm just gonna pick Andrea. So you guys have positive behaviors and it needs work. So some positive behaviors that I added in the classroom are good hallway behavior, great day, helping others. I know my sight words, you get three points for that because we wanna know our sight words. Um, being on tasks and et cetera. So if somebody does do something good, like if they're walking great in the hallway, then I'll just give her a point. And then if they're doing something that needs work, which I'm not gonna press it, cause it goes to their parents' phones. But um, like if they hit a friend or not follow directions, I can press that and it will take a point away. And what I love so much about this is that it goes straight to their parents' phone. So it is an app on their phone. So the teachers have it as an app and you can use it on the desktop and the parents have it on their phone. So whenever something happens to their child, it will go directly to them right when it happens, which is great. So they know how their kid is doing that day. Um, you can also message the parents. I'm not going to go to messages because that's kind of confidential. Um, you can share pictures on the class story. It's kind of like Facebook for school. Um, you can make their profiles. And what else? And also you can set the timer if you're doing a task or an assignment and it will count down so they know how much time they have left and the buzzer will go off. And random, if you wanna pick somebody to take a turn, then you can use that as well. Attendance, we don't use this for our attendance, but just to help us out you know, if somebody's not here, like these two students are not here, then it will just show that. And that kind of helps us remember to do attendance and everything. The last thing is um, whoever has the highest points in the class at the end of the week on Friday, they will get a treat on Monday. So last week I had three people who got 15 points and that was the highest in the class. So on Monday I got them a treat. So I'll go to the store and get them like chips, candy, something for a dollar, whatever they like. And it's a fun way for them to behave and get an incentive for their good and hard work. So I'll make sure I link Class Dojo 
below in the info box so you guys can check it out. I highly recommend it for the classroom. Um, and some other minor things I like to do, well they're minor, they're like simple, easy things you can do, but they turn out to be like majorly, majorly, majorly helpful. So um, I wrote their names on popsicle sticks in here. So whenever they're on the carpet and they're playing like a game, like a whole group activity, um, or if I wanna call on somebody, instead of just like picking that student, I will pick a name out of here and then they will go to the board and they'll take their turn and then they will have to come back and they put this in another one of these. So they put it back and then they'll draw somebody else's name. And then that person will go and then that person will draw the other person's name. And so when they do draw their names, I do not, I know they're, I'm picking all boys. Here's a girl. Um, I do not tell them that student's name. They have to figure it out. So I'm trying to get them to learn their names and learn what their friends' names look like. Um, so yeah, I don't say anything. And this is a great way. So if they did take a turn, they're outside of this. So we go through all these first. So I make sure everybody takes a turn and then I put them back in and then we start over depending on what the next activities is. So these are very, very helpful. So you guys should definitely try this. Okay, so I'm gonna show you another thing I like to do, which is down here. And I found this at tar tar Target. Um, it was a Target find in the front and it was $3, you guys. Um, and I wish I got two sets of them because I didn't realize how many kids I would have. I knew I wouldn't have 10 like it is on here, but I didn't know I was gonna have like 22 kids. So I would have definitely gotten two sets, but this is perfect for lining up. This is the best thing that I have found to line the kids up when it's time so to So at the beginning, it says line starts here. So the line leader is always on yellow. So they stand here and they are spaced very nicely apart. So they can stand in a straight, quiet line, not touching their friends. So as you see, I only have 10 and I wish I had more. Um, but the rest of the class pretty much can line up nicely even without them. But I think this was amazing. I wish I could still find them at Target, but they were sold out super duper fast. Okay, and also I like to use these. Um, and I would say these do have to do with classroom management just because they help with seating so the tables i know they're a mess but the tables um, have their names on them and i love these i'll see if i could find these and link them below but they're editable so you can put their names on them has colors numbers letters left right um the only thing is like they always pick them like you guys can see like they pick them um so i get them for classroom management just so they know where to sit at the beginning of the year. But then once they know how to spell their name and write their name and stuff, I kind of take them off. But this is just a good way for them to be seated in a good spot. And yes, I do have to rearrange them sometimes because I don't know what's going on right here. I have to rearrange them because you know, some friends cannot sit next to certain friends because they want to talk. But these are great to have in the classroom. Okay, so those were my top five classroom management strategies I use. Those work best for my class, but if you guys have any questions, please let me know um, in the info box below, and not in the info box, in the comment section below. And if you guys have any strategies used in the classroom, please comment those below because we can always use tips and tricks in the classroom with our kids. It does not have to be just kindergarten. If you are a teacher, former teacher, whatever, leave it below. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. The next video should be on their homework folders. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys follow my Instagram. I'll be posting stuff on there. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And I will see you next time. Bye, you guys.